pleasure to be here today and present to you the results of the j site trials for uh, retinal blindness disease, retinitis pigmentosa. J-Site has developed a cell-based therapy, J-Cell, to preserve and restore vision in patients with retinitis pigmentosa. The therapy is potentially applicable to other blinding diseases, such as age-related macular degeneration, even diabetes. And the treatment is non-surgical and minimally invasive. JSID was founded in 2012 and is headquartered in Newport Beach, California. It is fully funded through grants from uh, CIRM, which is a California initiative for regenerative medicine, to allow a completion of a phase 2B trial. It also received a Regenerative Medicine Advanced Therapy Award, a form of a breakthrough designation awarded by the FDA in April 2017, which allows more frequent meetings with the FDA to allow these breakthrough therapies to proceed at a faster rate. A Phase 1-2A clinical trial of 28 patients was completed in the summer of 2017 with an extension study going on with 21 patients of dosed in their fellow eye. It is a non-invasive, non-surgical outpatient procedure and can be repeated. It's safe and well-tolerated, and it has preliminary evidence of extreme efficacy. And right now, we're doing the Phase 2B trial, uh, which we started just recently. Behind every company that I've ever uh, worked with in any capacity, the most important thing is the executive team. And j has an outstanding executive team. Paul Bresky has 25 years of entrepreneurial experience. He's um, uh, an extremely uh, bright, and he's had multiple successes in this field. Henry Clausen is an MD, PhD. He's actually an ophthalmologist and a retinal specialist, and he has uh, been devoted his life to the treatment of hereditary macular diseases. He's received over $32 million in grants. What is retinitis pigmentosa? A highly unmet need because there's no real treatment. It's a group of inherited diseases caused, uh, causing retinal degeneration. One in 3,500 people, or about a million patients worldwide, have this. There are about 100 gene mutations, syndromic or non-syndromic, and fortunately, this drug will work on all. Unrelenting decline in vision as photoreceptors die, it begins in their teens and proceeds over the years, and by 40, most patients have lost vision significantly. It has received an orphan drug designation both by the FDA and the EMA. It is an allergenic progenitor cells. It's not pluripotent. It is a method of action. It is neurotrophic. It's not reparative or regenerative. It has, uh, for manufacturing, it's low passage expansion from primary tissue, and it's being manufactured at UC Davis facility, and in the future, tech transfer to a CMO uh, uh, for commercial grade manufacturing is being prepared right now. There are no genetic modifications necessary and no pre-differentiation is required. j -Site has the intellectual property uh, fully owned by the regents of the University of California. It has the exclusive license. And this license includes uh, composition, methods of manufacture, methods for treating, ameliorating, or preventing retinal disease or conditions, not only for retinitis pigmentosa, but for age-related macular degeneration, diabetes, and many more. The IP is broad and describes and covers methods of improving photopic or daylight vision and our scotopic night vision, macular function, visual field, or visual acuity by administration of retinal progenitor cells. When I say it's non-surgical, it is uh, JSET's the only cell therapy program using intervitreal injection as a means of passing the, uh, the cells into the eye. It is not subretinal. This is done in the office and can be repeated. It's done under topical anesthesia. No immune suppression is needed. It's repeatable, as I said, and, the, and there's no evidence of immune rejection. And we've had encouraging both safety and efficacy in the phase 1-2A study. In the first 1-2A study, there were two cohorts. The first cohort were very severely um, declined vision, 2200 being the best, the hand movements. It was non-randomized, open label, single injection. 
and the first patient was dosed uh, approximately two, year, two and a half years ago. The cohort two, which I'm going to report today, is, had visual acuity of approximately 2063 to 2200. There are four dose levels. There were 28 patients, and the last patient was dosed July of 2016. All 28 patients enrolled completed the study through month 12, which was the end of the study. There was one grade two uh, SAE, which was initially reported as possibly related to study drug, and after a considerable workup, was found to be unrelated to study drug. Most AEs were transient and minor, and uh, included visualization of anterior chamber cells. M most of them were uh, AEs secondary to the injection procedure. There was encouraging evidence of potential benefit, and subjectively, the patients were very uh, uh, happy with the improvement that they noticed, both in light perception, color distinction, improved reading, clearer vision, better mobility. Here is a, at, the, at 12 months, you can see 0.5 million cells, 1 million, 2 million, 3 million cells, that you can see a dose-related response with a difference between the treated and untreated eye progressing. If you look at the uh, waterfall plot, you can see as the, at six months, there were a number of patients who improved with treatment, and then at 12 months, there was even further improvement. If we look at the patients who had, uh, were able to read letters at 20 months, it's even more impressive. Again, a dose-related response with even a bigger uh, index of difference between the treated and untreated. As I said, most events were, uh, were related to the injection and were minor. Safety, uh, as I said, was excellent. And we've now injected almost all the other patients. All the patients wanted to participate except for two. Here's the study design for the phase three study. Three million cells, four million cells are control, 25 patients in each category. There are two sites in Southern California, one in Boston at the Ophthalmic Consultants of Boston, and we are continuing. Here is the timetable. We should be able to complete by 2019 the phase 2B trial. So in summary, there's no effective treatment currently available for RP. It's neurotrophic enhanced function of existing cells, intravitreal injection versus a subretinal injection. AEs related to study were generally mild and no serious AEs. Phase 1-2 studies show trends in best corrected vision in the treated eyes. And both the RMAT designation by the FDA and the orphan drug FDA and EMA shows a potentially expedited uh, regulation pathway. Tech transfer to CMO is now ongoing, and market research shows a very large potential uh, market for this drug. Thank you very much.